My name's Jenny Winners. We're back, baby. And on the line, Barry. Doing, baby. Barry, how you doing, baby? You doing good? Where? I'm, 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 I'm up here at Universal uh, Studios and uh, having a good time. Very nice. Very nice. It is It is a, a pleasure to have you back on the program. Uh, we, we, we wanted to get the old rundown, baby, to see how we're doing this week. We're doing good. I'm, uh, the Orioles are uh, uh, two games over 500 on the West Coast, which is uh, they beat King Felix. They beat everybody. Uh, uh, so I, I'm uh, very happy about it. My slogan is the birds will be there at the buzzer. I can guarantee you. There it is. Yes. You know, Barry, we we got some we got some fans that wrote in and uh, and and had some questions for you. I don't see they they want to know your opinion. And uh, we got number one fan of the program. Uh, Mike likes to. Uh, he has some great questions, and he wanted to know uh, about this the, the the O's recent hitting slump, and uh, he wanted to know what you thought about how that is, that's going to affect the Orioles. I really don't think it's going to affect them that much. They're uh, they're hitting slump. They're pitching very well right now. Uh, the bullpen has got. Uh, Darren O'Day has got the lowest ERA. The first time they've allowed a run in 44 innings. I think once they, once they get home, uh, they'll start hitting. Uh, the, they're putting a the shift on Davis, which has uh, uh, cut his average down substantially, but he's still hitting home run. But uh, I, I really look at Cruz. They're walking Cruz a lot, uh, not letting him get at bats, but I look for them to rebound. And they're still winning – close games, and that's what really counts. And I think the Birds will be there at the buzzer. There's no question about it. I told you about Tampa Bay. They won nine in a row. Uh, look for them to uh, go on that West Coast. That's a do-or-die situation for them. But I look for the Orioles to win the division at, uh, probably about that eight or ten games. That that is a great rundown. We're gonna we're gonna. I'm on the edge of my seat. Oh, I can't wait to see how this is gonna turn out. And we have also got another question uh, from Steve. Steve from Baltimore, Maryland, switching gears into the future. Let's talk about a little bit of the Ravens for just a quick second. Steve wants to know almost a similar question. He's he, he wrote in about the arrests recently for several players. Uh, how how is that gonna affect the Ravens uh, coming at, when the start of the season? Uh, it's not going to affect him hardly at all. A bunch of those arrests were like, uh, uh, like the latest arrest with uh, Jimmy Smith. Uh, he was helping a woman out in uh, the bathroom until the paramedics got there. So uh, and they gave him a, a, a crappy arrest. I mean, it was like a disorderly, con- a disorderly conduct or something stupid. So what he what he does, and he just in the training camp, two wide receivers that they just drafted didn't even get off the line of scrimmage against Jimmy Smith for two quarters. He is, and they are running and downhill. Look for them to uh, probably, uh, no, no question, they're going to win the division. Pierce, uh, now Ray Rice has been suspended for two games, but there was a comedian that said something, and I thought it was pretty funny about Ray Rice. He said, she hit him 15 times, he hit her twice, what happened to equal rights, equal bang. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that is, you know. I look, for, I look for Steve Pierce to be running down here. Pierce is running better than Ray Rice in training camp right now with the double tight ends with the uh, Kubiak uh, Institute with Owen Daniels and Pitta and Steve Smith coming on the outside. I look for them to, uh, uh, they're flying under the radar. Yonda, their the offensive line is intact, and I look for them. Uh, to start off, look for them might be a five-star play against Cincinnati for the first two weeks. I can't wait. We're going to be looking at it. Uh, Barry, all the way down from Universal, I appreciate you coming on the program and, and giving us the lowdown. No question about it, and I'm going to tell you one thing. The Birds, listen, San Francisco 49ers, would they, they should be worried about San Francisco out there with all these suspensions with Alton Smith and stuff like that. Oh, yes. And, uh, uh, Bowers. And, uh, and I tell you what, that's going to affect them more than it's going to affect them. That's on the defensive end. And you need defense, and we're not affected on the defense. We're affected on the offense. But with Kubiak coming in there, I look for them to do a double uh, wide receivers. Uh, they're going to be running downhill, one 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 back set. I look for them to uh, be really strong this year. They're flying under the radar. Nobody's giving them a chance. They're all talking about New England. Remember, Flacco, Flacco uh, beat, beat Manning. He shut out Brady. He beat Andrew Luck. 
and uh, we won against Kaepernick. So you can't do any better than that. He throws, he throws the best long ball in football, and, I, and they got Steve Smith to go across the middle because you guys stole my Antoine Bowden. <laughs> there it is. He's he not stolen, but maybe... <laughs> Maybe just broke you. Know, <laughs> That's it, Barry. Thank you so much, baby, for coming on the program. And we, we're gonna catch up with you next week as as we get closer to the promised land. Will you take us there, baby? Oh, I am going to take you to the promised land. Remember, the bird will be there at the buzzer. There it is. There it is. Thank you so much, Barry. Thank you so much. Till next week. Barry the Stallion Stribe, ladies and gentlemen.